Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is part seven of the Big Purple Bag Haul. Click my channel icon to find the rest of the videos, and click subscribe while you're there. Um, a little while back, I got a 13 pound lot, and it came in a purple bag, henceforth the title. And this is what we found last, last part, uh, part six. And so let's carry on and see what we can find in part seven. So far we've gotten some silver, we've gotten some beautiful Laramar stones, and uh, yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good bag to me so far. Uh, so this is just a piece of wire that was a necklace, is a necklace, I don't know. It's in a craft lot is where it's going. And a broken piece of necklace here Got three, or sorry, four hammered gold, blue tone cabochon pieces that used to be a necklace. That's perfect for a craft lot. There's a bag with broken glass pieces. Let's, um, well, let's live dangerously. Let's dump it out. The backs are stabbing through the bag. Anyway, I'd rather not keep this in my stuff. Sorry for all the crunching. That must have been terribly annoying. Uh, yeah, so we have ceramic. These are porcelain earrings. Handcrafted, obviously. Real pieces of art. And unfortunately, one of them has broken. The artist took into consideration mirroring the pattern. Thank you. And there's no, no signature of any kind. This really seemed like the kind of thing that someone would sign. And then again, more porcelain here with a iridescent luster over it. And it's broken. Its pieces are all there. I'm certainly not going to be repairing them, but they're really pretty. I love finding ceramic and porcelain jewelry. This one's also missing a post on the back. Yeah, let's flip them over so we can see the nice side. I'll put the good ones into a craft lot and I will throw away the broken pieces because, because ouch. Here's a piece of another broken something or other. Um, yeah, I find a lot of this fine wire work stuff with these exact same little dangles. But yeah, another piece for the craft lot. Here's a bangle, a white metal one in a million bangle, and a bracelet, silver tone silver bracelet, silver tone chain bracelet, I meant to say. Let's zoom in on the clasp and see if we see any marks. Nope. Nothing marked there. Okay. Next up. <laughs> well, look at this. It's a monster. It's huge. It's huge. Gold tone, gray, topes, bronzes. Ceramic, big piece of ceramic. DZ. I have another piece like this from the same person, I think. Hang on, I'm gonna pause this video and be right back. I got it. Here we go. I have this brooch, and it is also marked DZ. Look at those guys. Wow. I think they're awesome. What do you think? I found this a while back and I thought, that's just so crazy, I gotta buy it. And so I think I paid $2 for it. <laughs> Somebody wanted three for this one at one point. But I think those are so neat. Hey, what do you like? What do you think? Which one do you like better? <laughs> if any. I know a lot of people think these are hideous, but I think they're cool. I'm gonna keep them together. They can hang out right there. Cool. Here's a 
pearl, faux pearl necklace. Double strand. One's higher than the other. And they're graduated beads. They're heavy. I think they're glass beads. And the clasp is pretty with rhinestones. Ouch. These these kind of clasps always hurt hurt my fingies. Oh, I don't even want to. Anyway, it's nice. It is nice. Here's another metal bangle, just a silver tone metal bangle. And another one of these. We found one already. Huh, now I really don't know what the heck they are. Is it just like a, is it meant to be a bangle? Just a weirdo kind of squarish one? Hmm, maybe. I'm not sure. And what are you? A gold tone chain with this kind of a hook on it. Hmm. Probably for hanging something, not uh, for wearing around your neck. Here's another art piece. Wow, this is a really arty, arty haul, hey, with these guys. And this feels like it's glass or porcelain as well. Smooth on the back. It's on this ratty tatty black cord that I will definitely take it off of because I think this is cool. And it's got holes along the bottom for some sort of a dangle situation. It looks like, oh yeah. So it's like enamel or resin over or glass maybe over something. And it's chipped away a chunk at the bottom there. Oh, that's too bad. Still, cool to find art. Art in my jewelry bag. Another gold tone chain. This one's quite fine. Nothing there. And nothing there. And this is, hmm. A hair clip attached to these are elastic -y, and there's some feathers at the end one of the strings is missing its feather but yeah so that's just to dangle some feathers in your hair hmm okay next up what have we got here a brooch Silver tone with a black cabochon and a black dangle drop. No marks of any kind. It's really thin and cheap feeling anyway. Here is a bracelet with wire work. And I believe that's a piece of sodalite. It looks like sodalite. It feels like real stone. And I think it is a piece of sodalite. We had a Laramar in our last video. Or was that the video before? I don't recall. Um, but yeah, I think that's Sodalite. And let's see here. I'm still putting earrings off to the side, you guys. If you're wondering, wow, this girl gets no earrings. That's why I'm getting them. I'm just not getting many pairs of them. So I'm going to wait and see if I can show you them all at once in pairs at the end. Okay, here is a necklace. Shells. Little tiny itty bitty shells. Still got a tag on it. And the tag says hilohattie.com. I don't know what that means, but these shell necklaces seem to be a dime a dozen. And here's another necklace. Uh, it's sort of a modern-y style. Get this undone. Straighten things out a little. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so it's got that swirly shimmer enamel and a little peridot. And this is backwards. Oh no, something here. There we go. <laughs> and an oval with peridot rhinestones and again more resin and another peridot. I love that stone. I love that color. 
So this will be a catch and release for me, probably. It's got a dangle on the chain. It's just this silver drop. It doesn't have anything written on it. And the clasp. Oops. It's fairly big. Feels bigger than a lot of clasps, but anyway, that's a nice piece. I'll definitely wear that a couple times, no doubt. And what else do I have here? A bracelet. Gold tone, multi-strand chain bracelet with a fold-over clasp. It's nice, it's heavy, feels in good shape. I don't see any kind of marks on there. And the other end. Nothing there either. But I like that. And what else here? Here is another Diamonds International charm bracelet. Getting a lot of those, haven't I? Picking out some earrings here. So here is a dark metal chain bracelet. Could be masculine or feminine. And I don't see any marks on it. But that's in really nice shape as well. And we have a watch. Black watch. You can see the copper coming through off the finish there. It says Carol Ann. Looks like it's a real leather strap. I just started digging into watches at work as well, so I'm becoming more confident about looking up watches for myself at home. I find there's one watch battery that fits almost every watch I've had to open up so far, and that is a, it works for a 626, uh, or you can find it as a 377 battery. So if you've got a big stash of watches, I recommend going out and buying one 377 watch battery and you should be able to test almost every watch in your stash with that one battery and um, you're going to need a butter knife or something to help you pop the, the backs off. We've got special tools at work at the jewelry store for putting them back on as well. But for yourself at home, um, yeah, you just grab one 377 battery. You can probably test most of the watches, I think. There's a couple that are more common, but that one, uh, in my experience so far, that's what I would recommend. So here's a brooch with a little dangle chain. It's a key design with pretty swirly, whirly open work. And I don't see anything marked on the back, but it's in really nice shape. Here's a piece that used to be a brooch. You can see here and here, there used to be something connected. And I have to assume there used to be something at the end of this as well. Like a, you know, a marble shaped stone of some sort. We're missing one little rhinestone there. But it doesn't matter because she goes in the craft lot, big time. I'm looking for things that are not earrings here. Here's something. A copper tone uh, necklace in a knot. Nothing to see on the clasp, but pretty and autumn tones as well. That's nice. I might wear that if I were to get it untangled. Here is another necklace. This is interesting. Look at how the links are. So it's made up of these smiles with little balls, and then it gets connected by the ball. And yeah, that's interesting. I think it looks ends up looking quite pretty and dainty. And it's got a tag on it. Is it MN? MN or <laughs> NW. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to search both, I guess. I have no idea. 
Interesting. Here's a piece of shiny, shiny sparklies. It's a fold over clasp bracelet. Very fancy looking. Let's check the back here before I do it up. Nothing to see on the back. Oh, we do have a bit of a break right there. But yeah. Sparkly. Big time. What else do we have here that we can pull out? We have a necklace. An ice cream cone enamel with a pirate skull and crossbones with hearts in its eyes. Wow, there's a lot going on there, you guys. <laughs> no. I have a pin Spirit of 2010 Olympics I think I've gotten one of these in almost every video so far this bag's got a lot of them oh <laughs> another one right away okay now that I'm looking down here three four <laughs> five six wow Seven. That's a different one. Hang on. Eight. Wow. Eight of them just in this bit of stuff I have. Anyway, let's leave it at that for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Leave a comment, uh, share the video, and the link to my eBay store is in the description below. So check all that stuff out. If you like what you see, come back and we'll talk to you again soon.